I'm basically paraphrasing Robert Ingersoll when I say that infinite punishment for finite crimes is infinitely immoral. This perfectly sums up my feelings on the matter. So even if we take the harsh view of hell that this creator grew up with, I don't actually think that this objection works, and let me explain why. So one thing that's relevant to this is not just the fact that we commit crimes or sins or whatever, but also who we commit them against. And that does determine the severity of the punishment. If you commit a crime or sin against a family member, it's going to be different than if you had done it against the President of the United States. It's going to be a completely different thing and is going to have its own problems, unique things, as well as punishments. And the reason is because one person is of a higher status than another. And so even just taking that principle, imagine that you've committed a double sin because you've sinned against people who are made in the image of God and you have sinned against God himself, the highest possible being that can be conceived, the being with the greatest possible status that has ever existed. And so even just that in and of itself could, I think, put this kind of objection to rest. I should say that I don't think that attacking one view of hell and then acting as if you have sort of defeated the entire doctrine um, works because different views of hell have their different nuances and they would need to be addressed separately and differently. Even an infinite amount of time for these crimes that we've committed would be justified because they were a double offense. They were committed against people in the image of God and against the greatest possible being that could be conceived. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. I would love to hear your responses. I would love to see what Atheist Quotes uh, says if he sees this. Let me know your thoughts. And I would hope and pray and encourage you guys to look more into Christianity and hopefully accept the gospel.